Hi everyone, this is version 6 of my DLG that I call a Super Hawk because it's got a Super G wing and um, it's what's left of my other DLGs like the Pod and Boom and Tails uh, that I called the Hawk or Hawk 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the Super G wing isn't actually the full size wing, it's a scaled down 50 inch version of it so that my wing to tail size ratio or length ratio would be a lot better so um, basically all this is pretty much the same the pod and the tail so I'll go over the wing mostly so this is the first time I've ever done a hot wire cut wing I use Foamular 150 foam but the plans call for uh, high load 60 I think this isn't quite uh, 60 psi minimum compression foam, but it works well enough. It's the best stuff I could find at uh, the Home Depot. So, uh, first time also using carbon fiber. I have um, these strips. Just the cheapest stuff I could find off of Amazon. It's like five bucks for 12 feet of it. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, and underneath it, I have. A balsa strip so I actually cut in half the wing right there and then I put some super glue reinforced balsa to um, so that it would take more strength to compress uh, the wing which um, with the carbon fiber on top would make it just stiffer so I have that little balsa stuff underneath and then I got a carbon throwing peg like point Oath 3, uh, no, 0.3 by, I don't know, something, uh, thickness. It's what the plans call for. And it's carbon fiber, and it's all sanded down to an airfoil and stuff. So, yeah. And then my flapperons I covered in packing tape to give them more strength and also makes the trailing edge. Uh, they have the kissing tape thing to make them really aerodynamic. Also, my wing mounting technique is um, much better. Not necessarily stronger, but definitely more aerodynamic. Um, I have a balsa pylon that I made, reinforced with super glue, and then epoxied onto the wing and spar. And that's better than my old version, which had balsa... Uh, strips on each side which distributed the weight a lot more but was really in aerodynamic so uh, I think this will be strong enough because I'm using some new epoxy and with joining the wing I'm using four inches of fiberglass versus three inches of fiberglass uh, top and bottom now I'll quickly go over all the old stuff now the tail uh, now this is, you haven't seen this tail, this elevator before, it's one and a half inches of stationary, I guess, and one and a half inches of the actual control sur surface. And then that's the same tail, uh, it's rudderless setup, just to save weight. Um, and speaking of weight, it weighs total 225 grams, which is 7.9 ounces. Um, and that's interesting because the full 59 inch Super G is supposed to be 8 ounces. Uh, so I guess I didn't do a very good job of that. But the wing loading is 4.6 ounces and I think that's pretty respectable. Um, especially since this probably overall without the electronics cost me maybe $30 at most. And that includes like hot wire stuff. And the pod, once more, I have my three HST 900s, the same six channel Spectrum Park Fly receiver, and the E Flight 500 milliamp hour 1S. And then I have all my transmitter mixings. I have a preset, which you can't really see, a thermal, which you can't really see, just very small deflections, um, flaps, you know, ailerons, whatever. So, using my Blue DX6i once more and that's it a little bit breezy
but I'll try. I think I was hitting something because I got like five circles right there without dropping. So I don't know, it might be a 